Good afternoon and salam ibu pertiwiku. You're now watching the afternoon edition of TVS World News. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said evidence indicates an Iranian missile shot down the civilian Ukrainian jetliner that crashed near Tehran late Tuesday, killing all 176 people on board. U.S., Canadian and British officials declared on Thursday that the fiery missile strike could well have been a mistake amid rocket launches and high tension throughout the region, and that the strike may have been unintentional. We have intelligence from multiple sources, including our allies and our own intelligence. The evidence indicates that the plane was shot down by an Iranian surface-to-air missile. This may well have been unintentional. The crash came just a few hours after Iran launched a ballistic attack against Iraqi military bases, housing U.S. troops in its violent confrontation with Washington over the U.S. drone strike that killed Iranian Revolutionary Guard General Qasem Soleimani. Reigniting a debate over who has the power to declare war, the Democratic-controlled House on Thursday approved a resolution asserting that President Donald Trump must seek approval from Congress before engaging in further military action against Iran. The resolution passed 224 to 194 along party lines in the Democratic-controlled House with nearly all Republicans opposed. The measure orders termination of Trump's war powers to use U.S. armed forces against Iran without Congress's consent. The vote came just hours after Trump said that Iranian military commander Qasem Soleimani was killed by a U.S. drone strike in Iraq last week because he had planned to blow up a U.S. embassy. European nations today will seek to find ways to guide the United States and Iran away from confrontation, knowing that a miscalculation from either side could leave the bloc facing a war and a serious nuclear proliferation crisis at its doorstep. According to a senior EU diplomat, Iran's desire to prevent the crisis has from escalating has bought some time. However, the tensions have highlighted Europe's struggles to influence either side as Britain, France and Germany desperately try to pressure Iran to stick to a 2015 nuclear pact and pull back from further escalation while at the same time trying to do the same for U.S. President Donald Trump, who has called on them to join him in withdrawing from the nuclear agreement. Well, that's all the news updates for now, but stay tuned for more. I'm Razia Ahmad for TV Sarawak. Thank you for watching.